Hey everyone, it's Justin Creek from Historic Columbus with another episode of Tuesdays with Justin. Today, I thought it might be appropriate. We've been hearing a lot about bridges in the news recently, so I thought I would do a little research and talk to you all a little bit today about some bridge history, specifically railroad bridge history in Columbus. The, um, the first rail bridge that was constructed in Columbus was in 1855, and it was constructed by Horace King, a well-known African-American bridge builder that many of you are familiar with his story here in Columbus. But where I'm standing today is at the intersection of Front Avenue and 9th Street at the 1904 Lower Southern Railway Bridge. And that was put up, of course, in 1904 by the American Bridge Company of New York. This was not the only bridge that they constructed here in Columbus. A few years later, in 1910, they constructed what is now called the Upper Southern Railway Bridge, which is located between the, uh, the Total Systems Campus and the Mercer uh, School of Medicine building uh, just south of City Mills. Like I said, that bridge was built in 1910, so both of these bridges, these railway bridges, are over 100 years old, and they're still in use today. The, uh, the Upper Southern Railway Bridge uh, has a line that's 38 miles long, and it originally ran to Opelika and then connected up with a bridge or a, a rail line that went from the main line that went from Atlanta to Montgomery and then on to further points west. The Lower Southern Railway Bridge, where I'm standing, uh, went across the river and connected to different locations outside of Phoenix City or Girard at the time, um, and then ultimately connected up to other areas west in, uh, in, in southern Alabama. With that, we will see you all next Tuesday.